Thank you for being with me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields and a happy Father's Day to all the dads out there and all those uh, that have a position like, uh, like a dad. All right, let's get a look at the flood threat. It is going to be higher and there's going to be a surge of moisture lifting into the Gulf. I want to show you that the computer models on that. We're going to see an area here try to develop and that is going to swing up toward Mexico and some of that moisture could then feed into the Bay of Campeche and right up uh, even up toward uh, Texas. This will be a hot spot to watch. Elsewhere I want to watch another surge of dust that will be moving in. Dahlia out there and I want to show you where that severe weather threat is changing across the U.S. So uh, a busy pattern in some spots. Now let's start with this because that flood threat is so very important. In Important. I've been highlighting this actually for a couple of weeks now in Central America, how by mid-month the rain chance would build. That is what is happening. We are seeing that. Now what's going to happen? We'll have an intense flood threat throughout much of Central America swinging back toward parts of uh, Mexico. Now Jamaica and the Cayman Islands heavy rain is going to be mainly off to the west. I'll show you that with the computer model in just a second for us in Jamaica, Cayman Islands, back through Cuba. But this area in the Pacific will develop. The Pacific has been so, so active. We're going to have a fifth name system out there. Eric will be the next name, but this one will be a little bit different. Instead of shifting off toward, <coughs> excuse me, shifting off toward the west, it's going to most likely drift more to the north with a landfall back into Mexico. That'll move the rain in to Mexico with that landfall and then eventually a rain surge could lift up to the north. Now here's some of the modeling on this. It is not a name system yet, but watching this spot off the coast of Guatemala and El Salvador. Guatemala and El Salvador, parts of Nicaragua, a high flood threat as this area develops. And then you can see instead of shifting to the west, this spot lifts to the north. So knowing the southern coast of uh, Mexico, I'm watching this carefully to monitor the intensity. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, but this is going to bring a heavy rain threat. And then you could see some of these models just lifting all of this moisture up to the north. And it'll be a wait and see on how much moisture holds together. But I want to show you the American model and the European model and what I'm seeing in the environment. Now, for this new spot, it should eventually become a tropical storm. These are those same squiggly lines, those computer models in going out in time. This is a day out in time, two days, three days out in time. By three days out in time, most of the computer models are in this green shading right in through here. That would be tropical storm four. So it should be a named system as it eventually rolls into Mexico. This is going to be a tricky one because there's a lot of areas of rain to watch to see kind of how this develops on the Pacific side. But the main point on the Caribbean side, watching a couple things, the heavy rain building near the Western Caribbean, and then I want to show you that dust surge that will be moving in in a moment. This here is what is left of Dahlia. That is on track, falling apart, and then we'll cover some of that severe weather up toward the U.S. in a moment. Now, let's go out in time here. As we go out in time, here's Jamaica. Here we are in Belize, and you see in Jamaica, most of the rain staying to the south, but Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, uh, Nicaragua, still in Costa Rica and Panama, that rain continues to build. Now, this is tomorrow. Let's go out in time here further as we go step by step throughout the uh, week. You could see the rain just building as we work our way into Tuesday. Now, it's almost like we get two little spots in here. One uh, very close to Honduras and Nicaragua, and then as we get over toward Guatemala and El Salvador. This second area here, this is what should develop as it lifts toward Mexico. Now, there's a couple fronts to the north, uh, uh, north as we get back toward the southern U.S., that may help to just draw some of that up to the north. It gives it an alleyway to move to the north. Now, as we work our way into Wednesday, uh, you can see the really heavy rain. Guatemala right here, El Salvador, parts of Honduras, Nicaragua, here's Mexico. This is the area that should develop into a tropical storm and then lift into Mexico. Heavier rain elsewhere, watching Providencia, San Andres, Nicaragua, and then keeping an eye on some of these tropical waves that will move closer to St. Lucia, Barbados, Grenada, and Trinidad, but I want to show you also that dust in a moment. Now, going out in time here further, you could see whatever this area is lifting to the north, unlike the last few systems that were shifting more off toward the west. So this uh, should be a tropical storm. Watching out for the flood threat, Guatemala and Mexico, that flood threat is going to be life-threatening. Guatemala, a huge surge of rain that will be moving in. Thank you for getting the word out about this. 
even if it's not a named system. But look at a piece of this moisture. You could uh, look at this just lifting up to the north. Now, I'm not seeing, I want to be clear, I'm not seeing signs of development as this area lifts its way up toward uh, the bay and the gulf. I'm not seeing signs of development once it gets into this area, but we could see some of that rain just shooting up to the north all the way up to Texas. We'll be watching that throughout the week and then monitoring more tropical waves. Now, here's the European model, and all of the models are in pretty good agreement with trying to develop something near Guatemala. Again, I can't stress enough, El Salvador, Guatemala in particular, life-threatening flooding as we go throughout the week ahead. I appreciate you sharing this channel to get that information out. So uh, we've been seeing things shifting to the west. Uh, uh, we've been monitoring if this area is going to shift to the north. It's going to be somewhat in between. You could see here a little area starting to develop that's going to swing in really heavy rain. Here's Jamaica. Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, just to orient you, Florida, Bahamas, Cuba, and you can see the really heavy rain building. That is the flood threat, but right in through here, this is tomorrow, we'll start to see some of that development potentially into Tropical Storm Erica, Eric as we go over the next uh, few days or so. Now, going out in time here further, ticking ahead, this is by the middle of the upcoming week. This is by Wednesday. European model has this area developing just like the American model and then shifting into Mexico. So Guatemala, El Salvador, southern Mexico, very much monitoring that flood threat. Uh, mudslides, dangerous, dangerous rivers. But instead of shooting off toward the west again, this starts to lift its way into Mexico. And yes, still monitoring some of those tropical waves trying to slide into the uh, eastern Caribbean. And then as we work our way through the uh, end of the week, we'll see this area lifting into Mexico, most likely as a tropical storm. And then look at this, the surge of moisture, again, not developed at this point. Once this moves in, it'll weaken. But look at that surge of moisture. That could get all the way up to Texas there. So we'll be watching this spot as we get toward the middle and end of the week. This here would be by Friday and then watching out for new tropical waves coming in. But these tropical waves out here are going to be battling some of that uh, dry air and some of the dust. All right, let's switch to that. Speaking of that, here we are in the Caribbean. So Dominica, Barbados, Trinidad. Uh, you can see these big tropical waves that have come off. And as we've been talking about, they've been running into some of the dust. Look what happens uh, next with this dust. Now, a lot of us have that. I've been watching your comments. This yellow shading. That's where some of the dust is. That's been feeding all the way into the southern United States, moving into the uh, Gulf. Now, this is uh, today, Eastern Caribbean, Atiga, Barbuda, Anguilla, St. Kitts and Nevis. We've had some dust. It's not the thickest round we've had, but we've had a, a round. We'll see that again on uh, Wednesday. This here is uh, the middle of the week, still seeing some of that dust around. So these tropical waves have been running into the dry air and the dust. Now, as we get our way into next weekend, this would be by Saturday, still watching watching some of the dust, uh, but a bigger area is going to move off the coast of Africa, a larger surge of dust. So as we work our way into about a week and a half from now, a bigger surge of dust should be moving in. I'll highlight that further in some upcoming videos. This here, this is Dahlia. It, what's left of it, it is weakening, stayed right on track. This is the spot we're watching near Guatemala and El Salvador that will be building with that dangerous, very dangerous flood threat, and then eventually trying to lift up toward Mexico. Mexico, but Dahlia itself, that continues to work away, and that will be falling apart. All of the modeling, not bringing this up toward uh, uh, the Baja, is shifting it all off toward the west with the weakening. Now, switch, I'll show you the uh, three-day rain totals. Actually, I want to show you some of those big three-day rain totals in a second, but first, some of that rain, mid-Atlantic, Bermuda, most of it has still been to the north, and then watching this as we work our way into tonight, foothills of the Rockies, some heavier storms. Look at some of those popping up, even a couple Oklahoma, Texas, and Arkansas, and still that rain in parts of the mid-Atlantic and over toward parts of North Carolina in particular. And then going forward, the severe weather threat is going to be in here. I've been watching Ontario, uh, Quebec. We're going to see a big area of rain that's going to be moving by eventually over toward the Atlantic region of Canada as we work our way deeper to the week. But you can see those storms again coming out of the plains. The plains, another severe weather threat by the 
time we get into Tuesday. And here's that front that's going to be moving near the uh, New England and the Mid-Atlantic and bringing some of that rain from Quebec over toward eventually New Brunswick. But this is the front that will help kind of draw in some of that moisture up into the Gulf. So with that, those seas are going to be building, of course, on the uh, Pacific side. We'll be watching that as this here's Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, as we watch the, uh, everything kind of build right in through here as we go over the next few days. You can see right there that spot there. That's the area that we'll try to develop. This is by Thursday to Friday and then eventually into the uh, Western Gulf and the Bay, watching out for the seas building. Everything's staying choppy central and Western uh, Caribbean, south of Jamaica. That's where we'll have some of the uh, elevated seas. Now, spotty showers and thunderstorms possible the next two days. Bahamas, watching over toward Freeport. We swing back toward Cuba, parts of Florida. Of course, we could get 25 millimeters of rain or a quick inch of rain or more if we get a thunderstorm. Same thing, Cayman Islands and Jamaica. Jamaica, some of us have been dealing with dry conditions. While just a town over, we've had some of those uh, thunderstorms and some of those showers. That pattern rolls on. Spotty showers, Haiti, the DR, Puerto Rico. Uh, we're going to watch out for some of that dust around. And you see the rain chance stays low. Montserrat, Saba, for example. Rain chance stays on the minimal side. It has gone down over through uh, Trinidad and Grenada uh, as we kind of wait on these next tropical waves in our next round of some dust over towards St. Vincent of the Grenadines. Still some of that rain that could drop 75 millimeters of rain over the next uh, few days, uh, parts of Guyana and uh, Suriname. But this is that hot spot with that rain building, these whites, the black shadings right in here, Guatemala and El Salvador. This is just the next three days, but we're gonna see this for about four or five days of really heavy rain. We'll have some spots upwards of 200 millimeters of rain, especially as we watch things build, as this area lifts its way up toward Mexico near Guatemala and El Salvador. That's why I mentioned the life-threatening uh, flooding. Mexico City, we'll see those scattered areas of rain and we've had some uh, flooding around. And then watching out for more in the way of spotty showers and storms. This and through here, Oklahoma into eastern Texas, this would be with that front pressing by and getting some thunderstorms. If we get some thunderstorms, a quick two to three inches of rain would be a possibility. So Jamaica for us today, rain chance at about 30%, building to about a 50% chance on Tuesday. I'll monitor some of that rain building near Central America. Cayman Islands, uh, mainly dry today, but up to about a 40% chance on Tuesday. And you can see how that rain chance has gone down for us in Trinidad. Uh, which has been helpful. Those rivers, no doubt, still on the high side. I'm monitoring those river levels. 20% chance of rain today in Barbados, a 30% chance today in St. Lucia, and a 40% chance for tomorrow. 20 to 30% chance the next couple of days in Grenada, and mainly dry today, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Spotty shower possible tomorrow and Tuesday, mainly dry the next couple of days in Martinique. Rain chance 20 to 30% today and tomorrow as we get back through Dominica. An isolated shower possible possible in Guadeloupe, holding at a 30% chance. Watching some of the dust around in mainly dry conditions, Antigua, Bermuda, passing shower possible, 10 to 20% chance, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. Rain chance staying on the low side, Anguilla and St. Bart's staying on the low side, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia over the next three days. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. There'll be a couple thunderstorms around for us in Puerto Rico, one or two showers around parts of the U.S., and British Virgin Islands. Rain chance holding at 30%, especially northern and central Bahamas. That's where we could see a couple thunderstorms kind of uh, moving over toward uh, parts of the Bahamas coming off of uh, Florida. Turks and Caicos were mainly on the dry side. A 30 to 40% chance of a shower or thunderstorm the next few days in the Dominican Republic, and we're staying very hot across Haiti. Mainly dry, a 20% chance of a pop-up shower or storm. Belize, though, our rain chance building. We'll be tracking this together throughout the week to see how much of that moisture will be nearby. I'll be highlighting that as we go forward. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, that rain chance has gone down, but a lot of us had some welcome rain over the last uh, several days. Guyana, rain chance 60 to 70 percent, 60 to 70 percent chance as well as we work our way into Suriname, and a 40 to 50 percent chance of scattered thunderstorms back through Cuba. But Costa Rica and Panama, the next couple days, rain chance at 90 percent, monitoring that dangerous flooding 
and parts of Nicaragua. Same thing as we shift our way toward Honduras. I'm going to see how much of this rain is going to be building throughout the week, giving you the heads up across Honduras, rain chance going up and monitoring that flood threat that only gets higher. Guatemala and El Salvador with this area building in the Pacific, Mexico City as well. Our rain chance will be up to about 60% by tomorrow, 40% chance across the uh, Yucatan Peninsula and uh, going down some in northern Colombia, but still today watching out for some flooding in a few spots. A 30% chance the next couple of days in northern Venezuela and Bermuda. Most of the rain has been staying just away and will be mainly dry throughout the day. So the rain building, especially in the Western Caribbean, that big flood threat for Central America, monitoring for development. We'll get some development on the Pacific side and then we'll see how this rain kind of lifts up to the north, up toward uh, Texas, uh, in through the uh, Western Gulf and Dahlia weakening out there in the uh, Eastern Pacific. So thank you for sharing this information. Have a good Father's Day ahead.